get these, these doors open just a little bit, like so. I'll walk you up there. Yeah. Okay. See, this one just as I thought. See, it's down low. The much lower it is, that means the the ball is low. And see, there's plenty of clearance between the top of the ball and the bottom of the trim, the casing, right? See? That tells me, what does that tell me? That tells me I should be able to raise it up and get it in there more, okay? Now see this one here? This one, this one's just a hair lower down in the pocket. See that one? That one's a little bit low. This one's even lower. It means the head of this is hardly sticking up. I'm surprised it's even holding, but you see it's plenty of clearance again there. Plenty. And it's not marking up anything. So I should be able to loosen that up. This one and this one. Okay. So how am I going to do that with my nail set? See? There's little prongs in there. Or a tiny little screwdriver. You know. Try your nail set first before you start dinging up your edge of a little screwdriver. Okay. Now if I had that tool. So it's a tool that's kind of like that with some prongs. You set it in there. And do this bit. You know. Hold it out here and take it here, like that. Okay, so righty tighty, lefty loosey. If I turn it to the right, I'm facing it, looking at the top of it, and turn to the right, that's going to go down further. If I, like, I'm unscrewing it, that'll raise that up. So that's to the left, unscrewing it. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. Very simple. You know, I got moved in. We checked that. I was, I, I had adjusted these doors. Lots of these doors down here. I got doors from all get go around here. There's more doors down there, over there, over here, in there, around the corner, upstairs. And I adjusted all those before we moved in, before the painters came. And I put grease in all the hinges and I cleaned everything. I made all kinds of videos on that stuff too. So you might want to, might want to check that out. I've got all kinds of stuff on my, on my YouTube channel. All you got to do is check it out. Okay. I can't, I can't, I don't have three hands, so I can't hold the video camera up here and my hammer and nail set. Okay, but you get, you, you get the idea. Set it there. And lucky for me, this is unscrewing. It's got threads on there. This house is 17 years old. If you have a house that's 50 years old or something, if you've got some little things like this and it's been painted over and it's all rusty, chances are maybe it won't come move out. It's supposed to have a little bit of a give to you. You could spray some WD-40 down there, some ratchet wrench, uh, something like that. Um, uh, um, what, the other silicone spray. Anything like that to loosen up the threads. Okay, I'm going to make this about, about flush. Maybe just a, just a hair more. And I still got plenty of room there. So I'll go down and, I'll go down and uh, I'll check that, that one. Slide the ladder over. Get you over here. And I'll go ahead and, and check this one here. Okay, remember, take it, close it to there, and then give it a little oomph. Now see? I can, I can make that a little bit looser, or a little bit tighter, sorry. A little bit tighter, so I'm gonna go up there. I'm gonna, 
I'm going to head on up and unscrew it a little bit more because I can. Because I can. I've, got, I've still got lots of clearance there all the way around. have it high enough where I can grab it with my hand. If I need to unscrew it anymore, I can. Oh, okay, that's, that's pretty good. I don't think I want to go much higher than that. I will try it. Try it here again. Okay. Close it to there. As you're opening it, Close it to there and give it one little oomph. Okay. Try doing it at the handle. I mean, you don't want to have to open and close your door by putting your hand up here and trying to push it every single time. If you have to do something like that, you know that the door needs to be adjusted. Okay. I'm liking that. Feels pretty solid there too. Okay. And I can't really go up much higher than that. Okay. One door down, one to go. Up here. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at that. Yeah, I can't. Well, I'm gonna loosen it just a hair more. I just don't want it to hit. Top of your balls up here <laughs> are are rusty. You can you can sand on it. You can spray some WD-40 on it and, and have it spring up and down a little bit. You can you can spray a little bit on your your strike plate and you know that'll help too. Okay, I'm liking that one. This one, and there's only so much you can turn. I've got just a hair slop in here, and I can feel it moving a little bit. So sometimes you have to, you know, try one of the little prongs to tap on, and then move it around, and then try the other prong. You'll, you'll see it, you'll get it. Last thing you want to do is force it. That's common. Boy, this one's wanting to be a little. Little bear, because it's down so low, I'm having a hard time getting my nail set in there. But once I once I get it just a hair higher, it'll come up easier. So I've only got it turned about half a turn so far. Just tap, tap, tap. That's all. Now I'm getting it. Now I'm getting it. I know I need to go up at least so that ridge is flush with the top edge of the door. It's coming a lot easier now. Just work it. 
Just work it. Now, I can see I can grab it and unscrew it a little bit. I got it just about, just about where I want it. Uh, and if you if you can't unscrew it with your fingers, that's okay. Just keep taking your your nail set and tap on it some more. I got it just about right. Okay, it's not hitting the top. I might have it too much even, but we'll try that and see. We'll try that and see. In, close it to here and give it one little oomph. I'm liking that. Look at that. Sweet. See? Good. No wobbling, no chattering. Close it to there, close it until you feel it, and then push. One little, and, and that's how I open them too. I just pull it a little bit. Some people, they don't know how to operate these. They, they take and slam the door shut. I don't like doing that because eventually something's going to get messed up up there. Okay, close it to there, one umph. Okay, that's it. Well, I hope you learned something on this video. I sure did. Well, I can mark that one off my list. I've got a honeydew list that Momi keeps giving me stuff and I keep having to write it down on a honeydew list, but it's getting shorter and shorter every time I make a video for you. Well, that's all I got for this time, but I'll be back with more videos. What am I gonna show you next time? I'm not quite sure but it might have something to do with a loose thermostat on a wall. I've been trying to get to that project and I told you on another particular video that I had a thermostat that's loose and I'll show you that next time. It's a thermostat that looks kind of like this one here. It's a Honeywell and these should be secured on here and lots of times air conditioning guys it cracks me up sometimes I'll see that the screws have been installed just right into the sheetrock or they have put it in a plastic anchor that's that's spinning and they went ahead and put it in anyways and this is loose or this side is loose and I've got one just like this upstairs that is loose and I'm not quite sure how to pull it apart and all of that stuff but I know there's two mounting screws back in there and one of them is really super loose. The other one on this side is kind of sketchy and I may have to take it off and put some new um, plastic anchors down there or something like that. So keep watching my videos. I'll show that one soon.